Right. If I said your name, no. Bro. It's all right, Jimmy. It's cool. <laughs> they were all handed dogs <laughs> after losing to David Chappelle. Well, of course, he's the best <coughs> cat comedian out there. Like, for his uh, comedy album. I haven't listened to it, but um, I assume it should be uh, the when he his first tour when he came back. Because oh, okay. if it is that, I, I was there. I <laughs> love to listen to that. I was there. It must have been amazing. It was Dave absolutely- Chappelle? When I heard he was coming back, I was I I just oh. I was crazy. I, I just hit up my man. I was like, bro, we, Dave we Chappelle. To, now. Dave Chappelle's coming back, and the tickets they're only thirty quid or something. I was like, like we need to hit this up now before they go. That is crazy, <laughs> now, man. I definitely was mad. I'd I'd happily lose the Dave Chappelle and receive the fucking puppy. Okay, yeah. give no. me the puppy. Okay, but I mean, you know, I guess they weren't too happy. But um, yeah, obviously the stunt. Uh, was criticised by the British uh, Veterinarian Association. Can uh, I ask you a question, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> this is from American to, to British. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Why is it that it's very sensitive over here? You know, they really are very <sighs> sensitive <laughs> to everything and <laughs> uh, anything. Uh, it's a touchy subject. <laughs> <laughs> What you did there, I see it. I like it. Okay. It's, it's, it's a real touchy subject. <laughs> I don't really want to go into it, you know. Why'd they get involved? This happened <laughs> in America. Why are the British... Vet- why? why? Uh, obviously, Peter got involved. The wow. like Animal Welfare Foundation. But no one was hurt. And they were all saying that it was promoting the wrong message. Uh, they said that... Uh, Puppies are living beings, not trophies or toys. I wish they treated black people like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you care a lot. That's great. Wow. They're not trophies or toys. Nope. Okay, dog ownership is a life changing commit. Wow. <laughs> commitment. Yep. Not something that should simply be done on a whim. Hmm. <laughs> Wow, wow, they care a lot about these puppies, man. <laughs> Peter got involved. Yep. Fuck. What the heck? It wasn't, it's a puppy. And they're having a nice, rich home. You know how much money Jerry Seinfeld <laughs> <laughs> What? That puppy is living lavish. Like, like wearing Louis Vuitton and shit. Like, it's, like isn't, if, it, if, if Jerry Seinfeld doesn't look after him, the dog, then I'm pretty sure someone who looks after the house... Hello. <laughs> Look after the dog. You ever have a Louis V dog bone, bro? No. no. <laughs> exactly. This no. is ridiculous. Is no. it, yo, you understand? I'd be Scooby doing that bitch. You lost your mind. Getting uh, involved in yeah. public affairs. Peter said to Sky News that it's beyond belief that Grammy that the Grammy organizers organizers are so out of touch with the issue of the day that they failed to grasp. What now commonly under what now is commonly understood that dogs are intelligent, complex animals, hmm. not toys, props, or prizes. This is amazing. <laughs> While the stress of being passed around under bright lights by strangers may have been upsetting for the young pups, using them as prizes for runners up sent a dangerous message to viewers that dogs aren't the family members for life that they should be. <laughs> what? I, I'm pretty sure no one was looking at it like that. I, you know what? I'm sure considering it's a comedic, you know... I thought... You know, yeah. I thought it was comedic relief kind of thing. Like, oh, you did win a well, Grammy well, as a you puppy. Were, here's a puppy. Yeah. Yeah. You can stroke it, yeah. you know... <laughs> Exactly, but they 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 got the Grammy that just stays still. You got a puppy. This who wrote really, this? Who really studied won? English in uni, obviously, and wanted to talk some some shit. Like this is ridiculous. This is what they use their degree for to say that while the stress of being passed under bright light, I really doubt that this puppy gives a fuck right now. Like that's mad. They went Sky News published like this is real. Yeah, this is real. <laughs> you yeah. didn't write this, Corey. Uh, literally, I get all my news now from the news app on Apple.
cool. <laughs> so this was on the news app. Yeah, app. man. Uh, I'm gonna have to move to Android. <laughs> <laughs> if this is news, yeah, that's crazy stuff. Man. Yeah, this is sad. The Animal Welfare Foundation said, "Shame on hashtag Grammys." <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> and at James Cor- and at and sorry and at J K Corden for mm. handing out puppies mm. as if they were nothing more than inanimate objects. Wow. <sighs> wow. Like a spokesman from the Animal Welfare Foundation said, told Sky News, we've been working with the British Veterinarian Association to try and educate people about how to buy pets responsibly. Oh, so that's the reason. I get it. You didn't pay for the puppies. It was free. Oh, okay. So you didn't pay us the money to do such things. I get you, right? Okay. So they didn't pay their dues. You I didn't guess. pay your dues. You know what I mean? It's like not paying taxes. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you can't just go around just handing out puppies. Okay. Exactly. When you take a pet, when you take on a pet, you need to be aware it's a big responsibility. This gives out the complete wrong message. It's also not the right environment. It's not, oh, what? It's also not the right environment for animals. This doesn't make sense what? because um, um, yeah, no, that doesn't make sense because yeah, no, they're stupid. <laughs> because my whole thing is this: one, it's a puppy. Two, it's not like he was throwing them at yeah, the crowd. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, hey, have you know, a puppy. You have a puppy. puppy. You have a puppy. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was given to them. Yeah, and I'm sure they held it. Yeah. They didn't just throw it on the ground and kick it. Yeah, I saw pictures on the on the news saying that they were just holding the puppy. So this this actually made the news. That is crazy. But it was literally it was popping up on every little. Li- I was I found it on Sky, but it was on everywhere, they're, and I was just like, wow, they're idiots. <laughs> hey, Peter, if you ever listen to this, you know, Peter, Animal Welfare, BVA, all of you, you're idiots. Just want to put that out there. It, it just seems a bit. Put it out there. Why is far fetched? It's crazy. Everyone's so PC and, but not even this is not PC. That's what this Dave is... Chappelle said though. He <sighs> said it himself. He said he had to stop his comedy show because people got too sensitive. That's it. Everyone, too too sensitive. sensitive. A puppy was given, given out as, as a, a prize. prize. It'd be different if it was given to a child. Maybe. If this was Nickelodeon. Yeah. Totally different. Totally different. Oh, it's the Grammys. These are adults. Who knows what they could do to puppies? In their rich homes, oh my dear. Huh. Um, you know, that's, the world is a funny place, you see. We do live in a crazy world now. I'm it's, telling uh, you. 2018. Ah, and uh, this is what makes news. In the third <laughs> month of January. Yeah, man. You know? Uh, it's, it's, it's still January yeah, now, it's, you know? It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's crazy. <laughs> but, you know. So, ah, it's, so the last uh, news article that I found to. Uh, it's just a little short one. It is. Seven-year-old boy handcuffed at school after hitting teacher. He was hospitalized for psychiatric evaluation. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, like, Miami police have arrested a seven-year-old boy accused of hitting his teacher. Mm. He says the Miami Herald City's uh, a police report states... That was this Mercy, Mercy Alvarez. Alvarez's son was handcuffed last Thursday for hitting the teacher. The first grader was then hospitalized under the Florida Mental Health Act for psychiatric evaluation and later discharged. Hmm. Uh, uh, a police officer was quoted saying that the child was taken out of the cafeteria for playing with his food and then it says he started attacking the teacher wow punching Punching her her. that's crazy punching her on the back until the two fell to the ground oh he was brawling the teacher you've lost (laughs) your mind no you better lost your mind this is why i said i couldn't be a teacher man that's the teacher plans to press charges Against two. Against a seven-year-old child. That's what I... That's, <laughs> that's right. What? That's right. What's the teacher's name? What's her name? Nah, that's not in the article. See, I want her name. <laughs> I mean... 
give her props because I promise you, yeah. I'd be in the news too. Yeah. And I'd be in handcuffs because yeah. <laughs> I would have beat that ass. You've lost your mind. You punched on my back. Right. So what's going to happen? You're going to eat your... You, 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 so, you're throwing you against some chairs. That's well, apparently this is in the first incident that this child's been in. Apparently the police were called for this child for throwing a tantrum several months ago. A, just for, for throwing a tantrum. So, I want to... You know, the mom, Mercy Alvarez, um, what's going on, boo? What's What's happening? <sighs> What's, what's really good? Because that child should have got tuned up a while oh, ago. I guess I forgot to I forgot to put this article in. I, this, art, this article that I've just read has reminded me of another one I wanted to put in this episode. Oh. I don't know if you heard. I, I read this on Facebook uh, uh, this last week. Okay. It was about this mum who is teaching her, I think it's like her seven-year-old or five-year-old daughter about how to pay her way in life. I've heard about this, yeah. So, so she gives her like five dollars. She gives her takes three. She gives her seven dollars uh, pocket money every mm-hmm. week, and then she has to pay like one dollar for like food, gas, electric, yep. and everything like that. And she's left with two dollars every week. Mm-hmm. Um, and then obviously that's teaching her daughter that obviously she gets money, but she's obviously she has to she pay all the way, yeah. way in life. But what her daughter doesn't know is that the five dollars that she's taken away from her every week, she's also putting Saving. in her savings account. So when her daughter gets to eighteen, she'll have about thirteen grand yep. put her away. So then, when she gets to eighteen, like... she'll give her this thirteen grand, and then obviously she knows about money and everything like exactly, that. And she'll yeah. be like, "What do you want to do if you want to move out? Then, there you, we go. then you've got the money to do whatever you want to do." That's pretty smart. And I, I saw mean, that, and I was like, "Jeez, that's the smart. I'm gonna do that. That's, that's crazy. That's the smartest thing. That's ever. crazy though." Um, one of my um, my friend's friends, her mom did that. Well, not like that, but her mom put money away. I guess it was I don't know for each month or whatever. And she came out with twenty grand when she finished uni. So <laughs> she's living life right now. Like I was like, you know, I need to have a conversation with my mom. I need to talk. I mean, I shouldn't have to struggle right now. <laughs> One of my friend's parents done it kind of in the reverse way. Okay. Where, like, if he ever borrowed money mm. of his parents, he would owe his parents an extra £10 on top of it. Okay. To teach them about interest. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought you were going to say they put it in the savings. That's <laughs> <laughs> Ten pounds. Yeah, that's hefty interest. <laughs> I borrowed twenty. I must give thirty. Yeah. That's so then, crazy. then you don't want to borrow. Then you, you, then you don't want to borrow, borrow money, money in it. And that teach proper teach you about interest, and that's real interest, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> yeah, his parents. <laughs> his parents. His parents. <laughs> they like robbery. <laughs> You're paying us. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Okay. So, that's cool though. Yeah, but no, I rate I rate that that standard of like giving teaching your child. Children. About money the and the doesn't. worth. No one school, teaches you the worth of I mean, money. It, even in school, it seems like it's too it easy. Just, it's too easy. Because too easy. I, I get what well, I don't know if everyone had you paid. Uh, what? Oh no! <laughs> Was that EMA? You said what? <laughs> I wanted that. <laughs> oh, EMA bust me that twenty pound a week. I was rich and I had a job. Oh my god! I no. was living. Ah, my I days, I was so upset. It was just like, I never got EMA. Both of my parents were both working. Ah, you know, single mom and uh, I got just, the EMA. <laughs> I just wanted like a little bursary, man. <laughs> just Listen, free money to... This country has bust me and I ain't paying <laughs> none of it back. <laughs> yeah, you weren't even born here, man. What's this, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is See, man, like, this, is, this is what's so backwards in this country, yeah? Like, we help everyone else. It's yep. not from here. Yep. And then, and then we mm-hmm. get flipped out. We're like, why the hell are you here? Is this <laughs> I mean, Go back to your country. Okay, now that one isn't gonna happen. You know what I mean? Because at the moment it's run by a tyrant. It's run by a boss baby. So That's what my country's fucking run by. <laughs> so I'm not going back. Oh, that is fucking that crazy. Yeah, that it's would, mad. It's I mad. Don't understand it. Uh, Could it be me? You you won the way. They want to. Uh, I, I say they, but everyone who's not from here wants to just stay here because you give us. You give them everything. Bro, I went to uni for free. 
<laughs> Did you know that? I went for free. What do you mean for free? You think I'm paying them back? <laughs> <laughs> that is jokes. <laughs> no way. You better hope they don't catch you off this recording. <laughs> Bro, if you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, 